Hi, Linda. Hi, Mateo. Hi, Rita. Hi, Mateo. Hello. Linda, did you get my email? I did. Okay. I did. Yes. Yes. So I'll write Just back. Just let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'll write back shortly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No problem. I'm just, my schedule is getting a little um, kooky. Did you hear from anybody that they couldn't come tonight, Mateo? Um, Elaine emailed me this morning to say she couldn't make it. Oh, okay. Um, I really need to try to finish up by 745 at the latest because I have a um I have a Amherst meeting I'm supposed to be at. In person? Uh no, 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 no. It's a I I consult to the the housing trust in Amherst. So it's a meeting of the housing trust um tonight. I just kind of spaced out that it this that it was this Thursday. So Hopefully this won't take too long. Yeah. Yep. I just need one other person, and that would be Alan. I assume Alan is coming, and right? Henry, and um, Henry. Henry. Yeah. Yeah. Also... That was good. You sent out a reminder. Yes. I mean, I had it on my calendar, but sometimes people forget. And and we have a new person, right? Um, replacing Michael. Uh, Jake Messier. Yeah. Um, he said he was going to be able to make it as well, so. Okay. So Linda, um, is tomorrow your official last day? It is. <laughs> it is my official last day tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah. But Becky said you were going to help a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, since uh, there's no one else. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, it looks like we have. Yeah. We have the critical mass now. Hi, all. Hi, Hello. hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. I'm Rita Farrell. Hi, Rita. How are you? Good. All right. Henry and Alan, are you there? Alan's still connecting to audio. Henry, can you hear us? Oh, he said, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, great. And I see you got my email from this uh, afternoon. Yes. I just responded. <laughs> yes, you. I saw that. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Hey Henry. Hey Linda, thanks for the, uh, the the response. You're welcome. All right. Well, since we have a quorum, let's get started and call this meeting to order. Um, thank you all for being making yourselves available on such short notice um, for an unanticipated summer meeting, um, and welcome to our newest member representing the uh, planning board. Jake Messier, is that how you pronounce your last name? Messier, but Messier. mispronounced my entire life, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's messier that way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, as I tell my students with a name like Matteo Pangallo, I am used to the mispronunciations. <laughs> All the time. I empathize and, and I'm appreciative that you correct me. Uh, <laughs> All right, so on the agenda for today, first up is the uh, minutes for the April 21st meeting. Um, Elaine pointed out that there are two typos that at least two that need to be corrected. I see one as well. Um, is there any other discussion about the minutes from April 21st? No, I looked at them, but I didn't even see the typos. So yeah, yeah. they look Mr. good to me. <laughs> So um, I make a motion that we approve the minutes of April 21st um, with the typos corrected. I'll second. second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking minutes, by Who's the taking, way? Yeah. 
I of this can. meeting. Any volunteers? Oh, I, I could do it. Oh, oh, thank you, thanks, Henry. Henry. Thanks, Henry. Have we I might a... have to leave a little early, otherwise I would offer to do it. Yeah, no, no problem. Have thanks, we had Henry. A, have we in the past had a, a um, consistent clerk to keep uh, it? Elaine has been doing it. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. in her absence, yeah. Um, Sounds right. like Henry will take care of it. Thank you, Henry. Um, all right. I suppose we have to vote uh, by roll call and everything, including yeah. minutes, don't we? All right. Um, Farrell. Aye. Scott. Aye. Gettys. Aye. Messier. Aye. Um, Anthony. Messier has to ex. Uh, oh, that's right. Messier has to abstain because he oh, yeah. was, oh, was not there. Right. Yeah. Was it he a member? Wasn't there. Okay. I read them, but I. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I abstain then. <laughs> Hanson? Helen, you're muted. Let me see if I can call him and see what's going on. I guess we could go ahead with that. I'll, I'll, I will try Alan though. And Gallo, aye. Motion passes. Okay. Um, the grant termination policy. Um, so this bounced, the language for this bounced back and forth between the committee and town council a couple of times. Um, and the final version of the language as I saw it that came back from the town council is what I incorporated into the grant agreements. Mm -hmm. um, but we never as a committee formally voted on that language. And I don't know if we have to, if it's already included in the grant um, agreements. So I'm open to discussion on this point. <laughs> I, um, I saw a couple of um, I actually had a, a question and a correction. Um, both the Ames Pond and lot R15 have the wrong select board chairperson. So the, that, that specific uh, name has to be changed from Melissa to Rita. I missed that. As the chairperson. Oh, I see yeah, under there, right? Yep, yep. So are we talking about the, the two grant agreements? The, the Ames and um, our, uh, lot R15, yep. And the only other thing, Mateo, is um, I think it's section 13 on the two grant agreements um, should be the same. So it should include that language that you put, you put it on the, um, R15 about conformance with the CPA statute, but it, that same- There's a conservation language. Yes, the conservation restriction. So there needs to be a conservation cons, uh, restriction as per the CPA statute um, on both of those parcels of land. The, the Ames Pond and R15. Ames Pond and R15. So it's just um, adding that, that clause that you put in the R15 um, grant agreement yep. um, to, the, um, to the Ames Pond agreement. Okay. And, that, and e that's even though the um, Ames Pond agreement, that's not money to purchase the property still we still need to put the yeah because it's coming yeah. through the open space and well you know what that's a really good question yeah. was it just on acquisition that there has to be a conservation restriction or no i need so um the, the language says a real property interest that is acquired with monies from the community preservation fund so since they are using their they've already acquired the property acquired it. The fund is already right Okay, right. so We're there's not no real property interest then. So you're right. Okay. So we can leave so, it off the spawn one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we, we kind of slided off from the initial topic, which was the grant agreements. Um, did we resolve that? So uh, we were talking about the grant agreements and provisions within the grant agreements, Henry. Uh, oh, um, sorry, not, not the grant agreements, uh, but oh, the grant, from the grant um, termination policy. Termination agreement. 
Yeah. Yeah. My, and I suppose, and Rita, I think you were on the phone, but my question was, do we need, do we need to, as a committee, formally vote on that policy now? Or? We should adopt the termination policy. Yeah. Okay. Um, well then, uh, let's return. Want to just to, do that? Yeah. Let's move to item, back to item two on the agenda. And uh, is there any discussion Can about the? Yeah. Could we? Would you? Can we screen share that quickly? Because the termination policy. Yes. Yeah, I think we're good. I, I just, if anybody needed to, um, if we're all okay, that's fine. I just. Yeah, I, I read it again, so I, I, unless yeah, it might be good to just to have it there. Um. So many things. Open. I have it. If somebody can make me a co-host, I can screen share. If I'm, if I'm a co-host, do you know how to do that, Mateo? Oh yeah, there it is. You don't see that? Um, those are the minutes. <laughs> what happened to the other one? All right, hang on a second. Sorry. It's okay. There it is. Oh no, that's mine. <laughs> there it is. All right. Yeah, that's it. And I did go through it too. So Donna had looked at this and then we had done the editing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At that last meeting. Um, so, Jake, just for your information, um, what we were doing here is um, just developing a, a policy. You know, in the past, we've had a few grantees that have not performed essentially, you know, where we've made an award and the money has kind of just sat in limbo or the projects have sat in limbo. And what we wanted to do is find a way to um, or adopt a policy that um, we can recapture that money in the case where you know we've given everybody adequate amount of time to perform and they haven't and um, so there's notification. I mean, it's a pretty uh, comprehensive policy in, in terms of we'd have to go back to town meeting eventually, but you know after notice to the um, to the applicant and giving them the opportunity to perform. Um, and then ultimately, because the CPA awards are made by town meeting, then it would have to go back to town meeting. So um, we have one or two now, I think, that are, nothing's happened in a period of time. Yes, two. Two. So, um, and then what... Um, what we had decided and what was recommended by town council was that this language get um, incorporated into the grant agreements that we signed. So that's what we were talking about for the two, actually for the three um, projects that were awarded at this past town meeting so that um, to make sure that this goes into that contract. Exactly, exactly. So everybody knows kind of what the, what the ground rules sense. are. Yep, yeah. total sense. Okay. And, and I've already, it's, if you go to item 11 in the grant agreements, um, that's where I've put this language in under the, uh, under. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that, yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you, Mateo, for doing that, yeah. So I'll make a motion that, um, that the CPC adopt the policy as um, described in this April 21st um, final description of the um, termination policy. I'll right. second the motion. That's Scott. Let's vote. Uh, Farrell. Aye. Scott. Aye. Eddies. Aye. Messier. Should I? I'm just asking. I yeah. mean, without having fully read this, you know, should I abstain for, for this vote or are we going to mess up the quorum if I do? It won't, won't mess up the quorum. Right. Whatever you're comfortable with. I'm just, I'm going to abstain because I haven't read it and absorbed it, and I wanna I don't wanna say I if there's not. So I'm going to abstain. Uh, Hanson. All right. All right. Pangallo. Aye. Motion carries. 
All right, let's move back into uh, discussion of the grant agreements. And you all should have those, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. Stop this so I can make my screen bigger. So um, regarding the, uh, which one are we going to do first? Um, well, let's go in the order on the agenda with the historic guide board project. Um, I had a question about um, section three term on this one. The language is different from it, the language in the other two agreements. Um, if you read it, it says that the term is for 36 months, but then it says that the work has to be completed within 18 months. If oh. I read it correctly, um, Do you, do you see what I mean? Yeah, I do see that. Yep. That so that language came out of the community garden um, agreement. I wasn't so I didn't want to change it without. Yeah. Um, they, so I think it could be consistent. They could both be thirty six months, right? That it's a th you have they have three years to complete right. the work. Right, and the other agreements say that they have to commence within, the work has to commence within one year and they have three years to complete it. I see. Um, and yeah, so I, it seems to make sense to have it consistent and that doesn't make sense anyway. You know, I don't know what, what, what we were doing with the garden agreement, but. <laughs> you, you, would, you would wanna just change this to be that all of the work must be completed no later than 36 months. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think 36. You know, um, with the historic guide board, it's just going to take a little bit longer um, because they have to do procurement. Uh, you know, so it's it's more complicated than the other two because it's a public project. So it's being done by the historic commission. So I, I think giving them the 36 months makes sense. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, and then it must commence within one year. Um, that's a good question. So Henry, do you have any sense of where things stand with kind of getting this underway? My sense is that one year is, is ample time to get, it, to, to get it started. But okay. you know, that, that's just a, a guess. I, I, I could consult with Miriam. Um, and actually Janice has been working on this as well. So I think if we approved this and you came back and said we need more time, mm -hmm. then we could we could revise it. So I think we could say commence within 12 months, complete within 36 months. But if the historic commission says that's unrealistic, then we could revisit that that okay that sounds reasonable everybody else in agreement if yeah. that makes sense yeah. because that's what it says in the other agreement okay yeah mm -hmm. um the other question i had about the guide board one is it necessary to include a statement about the um and rita you'll have to help me with this because i i didn't look it up but it the um Department of Interior standards. Standards. Um, um, is it? You know, I'm not. It's a good question. Where, where about, is that? Uh, there, you... you know, in the CPA statute, there is um, language that anything done under historic is done in conformance with the. Um, department. It's Department of Interior, right, Linda? Yes, I'm going to look it up. It's in our plan, and I, I think I can do yeah. it very quickly. It's for rehabilitation. Um. I don't have that language right here. Uh. But you're right, Linda, it probably should have that in there. In item seven? Um, well, it's actually, do we, 
do we have a um is there language in there about conformance with all cpa so guidelines it must comply with the requirements of the community preservation act okay yeah. okay yeah right. so that's that that encompasses it yeah yeah I, we'll just, just, I just didn't know if it needed to be specific in this one because it's I don't I don't think so. I think, okay. we, you know, we'll talk to the Historic Commission about that. OK, yeah. As long as it says this it complies with CPA statute. Uh, were there other comments or questions about the Historic Guide Board Agreement? All right, seeing none, um, with the change in section three, the term uh, that was described, which is that the work must commence within 12 months and be completed no later than 36 months. Um, is there a motion to accept the amended agreement? No, no, no. I'll let Henry go with it. I'll second. <laughs> motion to accept it. Second. Let's vote Farrell. Aye. Scott. Aye. Messier. Aye. Geddes. Aye. Hansen. Aye. Pangallo. Aye. All right. Next up is R15. Any comments or questions about the language in this agreement besides the uh, correction of the select board member's name? No, look good. Uh, all right. Yeah. Is there a motion to accept? So moved. Second. All right. Put it to a vote. Farrell. Aye. Scott. Aye. Messier. Aye. Geddes. Aye. Hanson. Aye. Pangallo. Aye. Um, who who, in, who uh, started the motion? I did, Henry. Okay. Linda. And 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 uh, I guess Alan second. Yeah. All right. Uh, next item on the agenda is the Ames Pond Grant. Any comments or questions about the language in this agreement? No, it's so they're both so thorough. Mm -hmm. yeah, really. That's largely thanks to Rita. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Okay, I make a motion that we accept the um, Ames Pond grant agreement with Kestrel Trust. Okay. I'll second. Oh, I think we oh. already had a second, Jake. That's Sorry. Jake, okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay. Um, all right, we'll put it to a vote. Farrell. Aye. Scott. Aye. Messier. Aye. Geddes. Aye. Hansen. Aye. Pangallo. Aye. All right. And the last item on the agenda was the um, Community Preservation Coalition membership renewal. Um, they sent out a very um, enthusiastic plea by email talking about all the great things that they do and uh, asking that we renew our membership, which is $300 for the year. Um, and we've done in the past and comes out of the administrative budget for the CPC. Is there any discussion about that membership? Nope. Oh. It's well, well worth the money. Yep. <laughs> All right. Is there a motion to uh, renew our membership in the uh, Community Preservation Coalition? So moved. Second. Uh, who was that? Sorry. Jake. 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 Okay. Errol. Aye. Scott. Aye. Messier. Aye. Geddes. Aye. Hansen. Aye. If you'd like, I will be happy to process the invoice. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you. You're welcome. I, since I'm still administrative secretary, I can <laughs> do it easily. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, all right. Is there and any Jake, I, the only thing I would mention, Jake, is um, 
And I don't know, Henry, if you've ever had a chance to look at their at the um, Community Preservation Coalition website, but it's just, it's a really tremendous resource. Um, so it not only, you know, has information about the statute, but it has um, lots of details about, th there's a great um, database on all the projects that have been done in all the communities throughout the Commonwealth, and then descriptions within each one of the eligible categories, historic preservation, affordable housing, that sort of thing, of the kinds of things that can be done and projects that they highlight. So it's just, it's a very well done um, website that's kind of, you know, you're looking to, <laughs> to just spend some time browsing yeah. through. It's, it's, uh, it's a good, good place to learn about um, CPA. Great, thank you. So I, I, oh, I have a question, which is, so the next step on the agreements is for the, for them to go to the select board. That's correct. Um, so as soon as they're ready, um, you know, we have a meeting scheduled for this coming Tuesday and the agenda isn't finalized yet. So we could execute the um, agreements. The one caveat is that um, the legislature hasn't passed the extension of um, the remote meeting law. So as of midnight tonight, um, <clears throat> our ability to um, conduct meetings remotely goes away. No, they and, just they just sent a thing out 10 minutes ago. Uh, we got All right. it from Grace. I think we got it from Grace. It, it literally just came out saying it just got extended. I just oh, saw. great. I think okay. it was literally <laughs> like it was 10 or 15 minutes ago. Okay, great. <laughs> I hadn't looked at my email. That's actually yep. wonderful news. I think it's through March of 23 is when it's yeah. through, so. Thank yeah. God. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> because, yeah, we weren't sure we could meet next week. So that's um, uh, wonderful. So, Mateo, if you could once there, any edits are done, um, send those agreements to Becky and to Linda. Well, Linda, you're not gonna, are you gonna be there next week? I will be there okay. next week. Um, to Becky and Linda, then we can make sure that, um, that it, they're put onto the agenda and approved at Tuesday night's meeting. Yeah. Thanks Jake for that information. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was one other thing that Elaine asked about, which is the community garden agreement um, with the move of the community gardens to lot 032, uh, mm. which I assume is something we can do at our September meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just to revise that um, that grant agreement, that yeah. grant letter. Yes, and we can fix the timing language now that we have. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. That sounds good. When is our meeting in September? September, we have a, September 15th, I think would be the um, logical date. Okay. Um, or the 22nd. I assume the sooner we can- Yeah, I'd rather do it the 15th if we yes. can. We, we, um, used, we used to be the always the third Thursday. Yeah. Um, the only reason why it would be good this this year to um, once again get information out, I mean, it was great this year that we had three proposals in the past. Um, it's just giving people adequate time, committees, towns, committee boards and committees time to kind of get projects proposed. Is there any um, informal discussion that anyone knows about of any committees that are discussing potential projects? Nothing. Well, I haven't heard of any. I haven't heard anything. We either. do have to. We do have to update the, the CPC plan on the web page. Yep. So, and, so and on the subject yeah. web page, if you know, if you do take a look at it, I did try to tighten the language a little bit and clarify it. Oh, you um, did. But if you if you have if anybody has feedback on it, I'd be happy to dip in there and make some further edits or clarifications, or if you see anything that is missing that should be there or that is there that should not be there. Um, I didn't look, I didn't know you had done it. Yeah, I'll take a look. But yeah, I have not updated the, the plan. I will too. So.
Do you want All a motion right. to adjourn? There's no further discussion, yeah. Okay, I move that we adjourn. I second. 30 minutes, it's gotta be a, it's gotta be a, it's a record. record. I'm going to another <laughs> meeting. It's the new regime. Uh, do we have a vote on this? Do we have a vote on adjournment too? Uh, yes. Vote. Yeah. Vote on everything. Can't just do unanimous, any objections? Okay. Uh, Farrell. Aye. Farrell, Scott. Aye. Geddes. Aye. Messier. Aye. Hanson. Aye. Angelo, aye. Great, right. thanks. Good night, Have everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Sorry I was late. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.